Hey everyone, so it has been requested that I do a video talking about the Yule Log, like what it is and how to decorate it and those kind of things. So um, I will go ahead and do that. I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. Uh, please note that I've only been researching it for a few months, so there's probably a lot of things that I don't know. And I'm not a historian, um, and I will source all of my sites that I've used down in the description so you can go look for the information yourself as well. Um, a lot of the stuff that I'm getting is from books, from other YouTubers, from online sites, those kind of things. And I tried to make sure that it all meshed together so that I was getting consistent information before giving it to you guys. Uh, anyways, so here is the information that I have about the Yule Log and how to decorate it and the traditions behind it. So originally, um, I think it was, I think it was originally Norse and they used to have big bonfires and they would t cut down a tree to celebrate the coming of, um, I guess it would be the coming, the, the rebirth of the sun is basically what it would end up being. And um, they burn the tree like a evergreen or some kind of everlasting tree, like a, a pine or evergreen tree, which considered to be everlasting, um, so that the sun would come back. So they would burn, they would tear down a giant tree, basically cut one down, um, dry it out, and then burn it with a bonfire. And then as time moved on, the fires got smaller and smaller because it started out with a bonfire and then there's fireplaces in the house and then um, smaller versions of the fireplaces and now today there's lots of people who don't even have fireplaces so there's a there's the tradition dwindles down as you keep moving forward in modern times anyways um, so basically it started out with a giant log and people would actually feed it in the fire for 12 days um, and then they would use like a sprig of it that was left over for the next year's Yule celebration to light the Yule fire or to light the next Yule log. Um, anyways, so the idea is for that circle to continue and for the sun to be reborn and, and lots of people would use specific types of trees and if you are going to be ritualistic about it, you're probably going to want to know the properties of the tree that you're using. Um, like oak is said to have a lot to do with the Yule because the oak king is coming in um, and it's also a very strong tree. Um, and prosperous tree, I guess. And then there's other ones like fir and birch and all of these trees mean different things. So you can use that to your advantage. Um, a lot of people I've read about have said that it is uh, bad luck to buy your Yule log and it's much more beneficial for you if it's gifted to you or you go out and get it yourself. But I do think that as modern times come around um, nowadays, it's a lot harder for us to just go out and, out and cut our own log or whatever. So I don't feel that, I don't feel personally that get going out and buying a log based off of, you know, what's available to you in your area is a bad thing. Um, so understand that a lot of this is tradition moving forward and moving into a more modern idea of the times that are going on now. And if you really, really, really want to be traditional about it, you can. Nobody says you can't, but if you need to be more modern about it, do what's best for you. All right, so a lot of stuff says to decorate the Yule log with... Um, uh, stuff you find outside or uh, like dried fruit like oranges which encourages the sun. Um, I do believe it's uh, solar energy specifically that the oranges encourage a solar energy and then cinnamon um, is it used to decorate uh, to give out abundance because a lot of the times uh, people burn the Yule log not just as a protection but also to encourage fertility in the following years. Um, harvest or um, crops or whatever and so they're looking for that abundance and they're looking for that um, prosperity and they're looking for that protection um, and back way back when houses were just made of wood and there was a lot of fire stuff they used to keep part of the yule log um, unburned and they would put it underneath their beds uh, as a protective talisman and so then they would use that the following year to light the new Yule log. And that was considered to be good luck for that the coming year as well. So um, you can decorate with mistletoe, you can decorate with holly, all of it real or fake, but if you're going to burn it, you probably want the real stuff. Um, plastic stuff may not be so well if you're going to burn it. Um, also, you can use like um, ribbon as long as it's not synthetic. Even if you're gonna burn it, you can use ribbon as long as it's not synthetic. Um, Anyways, colors are going to be a big part of that. The Yule coloring is generally green, like a dark green. Um, 
red and gold. Um, some places also consider silver, white, and black involved in that, but um, most of the places that I've read about with it is, is red, gold, and um, green. Also, let's see, what else? I've got my stuff like sitting over here so that, you know, I can uh, refer it back to you guys. <laughs> All right, um, you can also do this thing like where you write down wishes on bay leaves or uh, on paper, especially if you're going to burn your Yule log and um, put it inside there. That would be a great tradition, like family tradition for you if you want to do that and just stick it inside because you can use like pine cones, cranberries, anything like that to really like decorate your Yule log. And you can put little slips of paper in between like the pine cone pieces or anywhere you wanted really and use that as a burning for the wish for the following year. All right, let's see. Um, traditional Yule logs currently, like um, in the more recent traditional form, are between 14 and 18, 18 inches long. The one I have is 14 inches. Um, let's see. You can use feathers, uh, cinnamon sticks, anything like that to decorate your log. Um, a lot of the time, uh, logs are anointed, especially if they're being burned with um, some kind of ale or wine and um, oftentimes like some form of salt too. So I guess that just depends on how how much of a tradition, how much of a ritual, how much magic you want to put into it and how you decorate it in that form and whether or not you're burning it or not. I do think you could probably still anoint it even if, even if you're not burning it, but you may use less than you would if you were burning it. Um, I think the anointing with wine and salt is um, for to make it burn better, I think honestly. Um, but it's supposed to help you with protections as well. Now, interestingly enough, there's also um, decorations that have very specific meanings too. Like the bright green of, of fir needles is said to be like the, the traditional meaning of, of the birth of the new year. The dark needles of like a U. I think that's how you pronounce it, Y-E-W, I think that's you, I think that's how you pronounce it, is like the death of the previous year. Then you have the ivy vines that trailing along the log, like decorating it with ivy vines, is to represent the female element of goddess. And then the red berries uh, represent the holly king of the dying year. And then the oak log itself, the oak part, is supposed to represent the oak king of the new year. And so there are some very specifics if you want to get into specifics. And as I said, I will put them in the description so that you will have it. Um, Technically, it's supposed to be something that's burned for 12 days, considering for Yuletide starting on the 21st or or the winter solstice, whichever day it falls on. It's the 21st this year for 2019. And it's supposed to burn for 12 days. And then a lot of other sources said that it should burn for 12 hours to give you that prosperity and that protection. So I guess it really is going to be end up being up to you and what you research and what you want to do with it and the intent that you put behind it. Anyways, oh, um, I will not be burning mine. My Yule log that we are going to discuss in the live will not be burnt. I'm going to use it as a decoration for Yule because it's my first Yule log and I want to keep it as a representation of this aspect of my life and my first Yule. So uh, I hope you guys join us. Uh, if you don't know about it, um, we are doing a lot. Amethyst Ascension, Rochelle, and I are doing a live on December 14th over on her channel, Amethyst Ascension, um, displaying everybody's Yule logs, anybody who wants to do the live. So um, look in my videos. If you want to participate in a VR or a live on doing a Yule log with us this year, please look in my past videos for the hashtag Yule log 2019 video and tell me in the comments that you want to do a live version or a VR and that would be way helpful. Don't tell me in this one though. Do not tell me in this one. This one is specifically for information for anybody who wants to decorate the Yule log. All right. You guys have a wonderful day and um, I will talk to you guys again later. Blessed be.